Hey guys, me again. Um, hi. So, after yesterday, putting up two videos of sort of the same category, I guess, I decided that it's something that I like to do. Um, and so I think I'm gonna do this on a regular basis. But, um, pretty sure I have zero subscribers. I mean, I have, like, four. So that's cool. My phone just vibrated. Um, but those four subscribers are two friends and my parents. So, yeah, that's cool and all. But, you know, I'd love to see more of that happening. Because I feel like a total and complete loser. <laughs> with just two of my friends and my parents subscribe to me. So, you know, if you can make that happen, that'd be cool. Anywho, um... I don't really know what the point of this video is, other than the fact that, um... I was bored, and I had a camera, or phone, I guess, in my hand. So, I guess I'm just wasting your time. Oh my god, I heard the funniest joke the other day. Um, it was actually a really stupid pun, but I, personally, thought it was pretty hilarious. What do you call a fake noodle? And I don't know whether I'm gonna wait to answer that until a different video, or if I'm gonna tell you now. I think I'll wait. Actually, no, I won't, because then you'll forget what the joke was, and you'll be like, what in the world is she talking about? So... What do you call a fake noodle? You call it an impasta. Aha! <laughs> it's just, it's dumb. But it's funny. It made me laugh. I hope it made you laugh if you're having a bad day. That's all. That's basically something that I'm all about is making people happier when they're having a crappy day. Because I don't like being sad on a crappy day. I don't like crappy days. They bum me out. And I feel like there's no reason to have them, so if it happens, then it sucks, you know? I have a, I have a friend right now, actually, that um, that's going through some, some, some rough times. He or she is struggling at home. Um, parents are really, really not doing their job. You know... Um, it sucks, and I wish I could help him out, but there's really, really nothing I can, uh, can uh, do about it. And it freaks me out when I can't help people with their problems, because I don't know what they do when no one's looking. I don't know. I can't read their minds, so I don't know what they're thinking. If they're thinking about hurting themselves, then it really bumps me out. Because I don't want people to feel like they should have to do that to themselves. Because they shouldn't. They don't have to do that to themselves. They feel like it's a last resort. And if it is, then just get some help. Because um, I know what it's like to feel stuck. And I don't. I don't. I don't like the feeling. I imagine nobody likes the feeling of being stuck or thinking they're stuck. So. I don't think you're ever as alone as you think you are. Um, you talk to some... You're feeling this feeling, and obviously it's not a good one. Or maybe it is. But usually that's not the case. You're feeling this feeling. And you don't really know what to do about this feeling you're having. And it kind of bums you out to know... To think... That nobody else knows what you're feeling, what you are feeling in that moment, and it's it's really not true. Even if you know they're not in the same place at the same time as you, there it's impossible for one per for you to be the only person on the planet feeling a certain feeling. So even if you can't talk to them or you know cope with them about it. No, they're there, because they are. Um, just a waste of time, I guess. Uh, if 
feeling bad, feel good, because I love you, even though I've never met you before in my life. And if you're feeling good, then keep feeling good, or I will make sure you have a reason to feel good. Yeah. I will leave you. This 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 is this is where I leave you. So long, Lacey Pups. I will see you another time.